This video will show you how to get Yeelight Wi-Fi devices to work with Signal RGB. Before you start, reset your device. Refer to the manual on how to perform a reset because some products are different. For any of the cube lights, simply unplug it, plug it back in, and then put your finger over the touch button for 5 seconds until the lights go out and turn on again. Now go to the app store on your phone and install the Yeelight Station app. Open the app and make an account. Once you're inside, press the plus button in the top right corner. Select your device. In this case, it's the Cube Smart Lamp. Wait until the Add Now button is pressable and then press it. Now you can pull this piece off so you can scan the QR code with your phone, and then you can attach the piece again. Then press Add to Yeelight at the bottom and wait until it's done. Also make sure you're not on a 5G network. After it's done, it will prompt you to name the light and then you can press continue and you're done. Make sure LAN control is enabled. Also, if your device has a firmware update available, you should update it. Now click on your device and you should get taken to the device splicing page. Add which devices are connected. The order here doesn't really matter because you can adjust it in Signal RGB later. Just make sure you have the correct number of each device selected. For this example, I have one spot cube, two matrix cubes, and one panel cube. After you configure your devices, press done in the top right corner. Now you can close the app and open Signal RGB on your computer. Go to the network tab under Yeelight and you should already see the devices automatically paired to Signal RGB. Now go into the Devices tab, click your Yeelight device, and configure the components. Just like in the Yeelight app, I'm putting one spot cube, two matrix cubes, and one panel cube. If your device doesn't seem to be responding, click this icon, toggle Show Console, and in the bottom right corner, click on Reload Plugin, and it should start working. Now you can go into the Layouts tab and adjust the position of the devices to match the real positions. After that, you're all set. I decided to try something fun, so I connected 6 matrix cubes and loaded up the Minecraft integration. I then went into layouts and positioned each cube over each heart, and now my cubes are displaying my actual health in Minecraft. That's just one fun example of how you could utilize these cubes. This is the end of the tutorial, and I hope it helps get you started. Thank <laughs> you.